guys welcome to your daily dose of mathematics today's question is paper 3 different um, implicit differentiation and this is uh, considered to be one of the very tricky questions it's very really difficult to maneuver from this form to this form once you are differentiating so the question is pretty simple it's sine y is equals to 10x and you have to differentiate it and show that dy by dx is equals to this now the differentiation part is going to be very easy the trick is going to be once you're done with differentiation how you're going to maneuver back to uh, cos 2x and a lot of trigonometry is going to be involved. So if you have not tried this question, I would suggest you pause this video right here, right now, give it a try yourself, and then we will see how to uh, solve this question. For those of you who have already tried and failed, let's see what the solution was. So let's see, uh, this is sine y. So once I differentiated, I will do cos y times differentiation of y, which is dy by dx and is equals to tan x. So for tan x, I would say tan is secant square x times the differentiation of x is one. So sine will become sine, uh, sine will become cos y, cos y into dy by dx, and tan x will become secant square x. Now, let's see how we are going to maneuver from this form uh, to this form. Now, this cos y is going to create a problem because we do not have any term in terms of y over there. So let's create a step, a tactic that will help us. So if I write sine y is equal to 10x. If I convert this sine uh, and I'm going to take square on both sides of the equation. So for both sides, I'm going to take a square. What that will achieve, you will be able to see in just a minute. So I will have sine squared y. That will be equal to tan squared x. Now once I have this, I know that this sine squared y can be written as 1 minus cos squared x. Cos squared y, I'm sorry. So this will be tan squared x. And if I want to make cos square y subject, that would be 1 minus tan squared x. Now, if I want to make cos y subject over here, that would be equal to square root of 1 minus tan squared x. So now I know that if I want to replace this cos y, this would be square root of 1 minus tan squared x. So let's bring that over here and let's place this thing over here. So this will be a square root of 1 minus tan squared x is equal to uh, into dy by dx is equal to secant squared x. Okay, till here we have solved one of our problems and that problem was to get rid of the variable y. So as you guys can see that I have gotten rid of my variable y. Now the task that is left to us is now to convert this thing into uh, uh, an equation in terms of a, in terms of cos only. So let's start working with this idea. I'm going to bring this into a fraction one minus sine square x over cos square x times dy by dx is equals to, this will be 1 over cos squared x. Secant squared is 1 over cos squared. If I take LCM over here, if I make a common a fraction over here, so this will start looking like a very promising fraction. This will become cos squared x minus sine squared x. Now, for those of you who are a little sharp with their identities, you guys can identify that we are, very, we are almost there. We have a cos 2x over here now and this will become cos squared x times dy by dx is equals to 1 over cos squared. We are almost there. Let's see what our next step is. So cos squared minus sine squared. I'm going to write that as cos 2x divided by uh, this. Uh, okay, let's split their square roots. So in, in denominator, we have a square root of cos squared x times dy by dx is equal to 1 over cos squared x. 
Now, once we have this, uh, you guys can see that this square root and this square will cancel. And once that is done, we will have square root of cos 2x. This would be cos 2x. And over, this is cos x times dy by dx is equal to 1 over cos squared x. Now we are almost to our final position. This one cos x can get cancelled with one of these cos x over here in the denominator. And if I bring this uh, square root term into the denominator, my final answer would start looking like this. dy by dx is equal to 1 over cos x. And you can bring the square root term over here as well. Cos 2x. So this is the final answer. This is what we had to prove. Now, this is a tricky question, not in terms of differentiation, but in terms of the tactic that you have to know how to maneuver your equation into a particular form. So the trouble students had was not about differentiation. Differentiation was fine. The problem was to get rid of this cos y, and that was not a straightforward task. It was a little bit tricky to know your way around your trigonometry to get rid of this cos y. So what we did, we took square on both sides. This became sine square. We replaced it with one minus cos squared, and eventually we made cos subject over here, brought it over here. And once you were in this form, this was the first problem solved that we did not have y in our equation. Now became the second challenge that we have to resolve these quantities into a double angle value and a cos x value. And you had to go to a final, a final solution which looked like that. So for that, you have to have deep knowledge of your trigonometric identities. I hope you have liked this video. This is a problematic question for everyone. There is nothing to worry about. You must know how to move through your question using your trigonometric identities. If you have liked this video, please share it with your friends who I'm sure who I'm sure would not have solved this question on their own. And if you have any comments, any queries, please leave us uh, leave them in the comment box below and we'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.